Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers and today I'm going to show you how to paint some penguins. Here's my painting that I have done. It's, I just really love this little guy. He's so cute. Um, we're going to be doing it in acrylics and I'm sorry if the uh, camera is a little shaky. It's doing something. I just got a new camera and it's doing some weird autofocus thing where it shakes whenever I get ever so slightly closer to the camera, so I'm sorry about that. But um, this is the reference photo that I have, and I decided I'm going to do it um, vertical and have them filling up more of the board. Um, you can do it um, the way I did here with it long ways where they're smaller but you can do it however you want to and then the paint colors that I'm using are titanium white, unbleached titanium, cadmium, red medium uh, this is deep yellow so if you don't have it you can use cadmium yellow medium but it's really similar it's just a different brand and then this is phthalo blue and Mars black. And the brushes I'm using are this is a about a one inch bright. Um, I don't use this one a whole lot, but I decided to use it because this is one of my bigger um, brushes with a short handle. Most of them have long handles, and because I have a smaller board. I kind of zoomed, the, put the camera down lower, so I don't want it to look, you know, it would be like a lot higher up, so I wanted the short handle for that. And then my smaller brushes, I'm going to have a 3 8 inch angle to fill the penguins in with, and a fan brush, a bris bristle fan. And then I have a 1 4th inch Lunar Blender for the fuzzy baby. And this is a round brush. I might kind of put texture in the mama. I'm not sure. But I'm also going to use a watercolor pencil to do the drawing. And I think this time I'm going to... Um, use a sketchbook to show you the drawing and then draw it with my watercolor pencil on the canvas because the yellow is so light I don't know that you really be able to see it very good so I might do that, I don't know but I'm going to take my spray bottle and spray paint on the canvas a few times and wipe my brush so I'm getting the bright, and I'm going to have to put more white out, I hadn't been enough. And I'm going to get the white, and I'm going to do like several different light colors. So I'm going to do some gray, and then I'm going to do some phthalo blue. And really, it's just like a little touch on the corner, so you do not need much at all. And then I'm also going to do another version with some yellow in it. Maybe a little bit of the unbleached titanium. So you see, I got different light colors. And I'm going to start putting some of this yellow. Color back here and get some of the blue and mix it and it's so light that normally if you put um, blue and yellow together it'll make green but we got it so light that it doesn't show up a whole lot it doesn't really make green it makes it slightly green back there, but you don't have to worry about it a whole lot because it's so light. It'll just look like 
different colors back here. So if y'all enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I have um, a few other videos that you could check out that are on my channel already, um, including the fox and bird. Those are the two that we've done already that were for winter. I'll show them in a minute, the picture. I don't have the actual painting with me, but... So you can just fill it in with a bunch of different colors back here. When I'm doing the backgrounds, because I have to keep my plate so close to the canvas, sometimes I kind of bump it, so I gotta kind of scoot it out of the way sometimes when I'm doing the background part. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take what I'm gonna do is put kind of like clumps of snow, light snow, and then put kind of like some shadows underneath. So I, I don't know exactly, you can see it's kind of there's, it's almost like shimmering. The snow is kind of shiny. It's got these, it's like light and then underneath is darker. But you can see um, on my reference photo how I did it. I got some white and then some darker, kind of like shadows in the snow. So I'm going to take my bristle fan. I don't really need to wet it or anything. I'm just going to take some white and just tap and it'll make these light areas. Because I haven't drawn in my penguin yet, I'm going to just kind of go over this whole front section with it just to make sure that I'm not putting a halo around them. So you can see why we needed um, some darker color back there, because even though it is snow, and snow is white, 
you see a lot of blues and things in white colors. So even in snow, there's darker areas. So you have to put that back there so that when you put the light stuff on top, it will make it pop more. So what I'm going to do when I get farther back, you can see I'm only going a little lower than my halfway mark with this. I'm going to kind of change the way I'm doing this when I get up there. So I'll show you that in a minute. I forgot to mention the um, brand of canvas panel I was using. This is a 8 by 10 and it's from Daler Brownie and you can get like a pack of three at Walmart. So I think this video will probably be an hour or less because it really did not take me long to do it at all. So this should be, this is definitely an easier one. So if you're beginning, this is definitely one you should try because it's, it's so cute and it's really easy and fun. So Okay, so what I'm going to do when I get a little lower than halfway is I'm going to have some paint in my brush but not a whole lot and keep tapping up so I'm keep I'm still making these shapes but I don't have as much paint on my brush so you see here I kind of made like lines and it was thicker paint here I still have paint on my brush but it's not a lot so I'm just going to Tap as much as I can while I'm still able to see. I don't want it as defined as up here, but I still want to see it a little bit. Okay, and I think I'm just going to kind of go all the way up with that just kind of just kind of creating texture in the background is really what I'm doing now I'm not really putting a whole lot of color I am I still do have a little bit of white on there but I'm not really putting a whole lot of stuff back here. I'm just creating some texture so it's not just those colors back there. There's a little bit more going on. I mean, in the picture that I have, there's penguins. There's extra penguins in the back, but I decided to just take those out and change the background just slightly. Okay, so now I think I'm going to set this aside real quick. I'll show you this while I have it in my hand. Um, so this is the one we're doing. This is going to come out next week. And I already have the bird and the fox up. So if you're interested in painting either one of those, you can go to my channel and they're 
on there already. So, and then these are coming out. So, I think it's going to be fun. These months are going to be fun. Well, this month already has been fun, but. Okay, so I'm just wiping this paint off here. I don't want to get my sketchbook full of paint on the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and just sketch it out so that uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing. So they kind of... I like putting a dot to start. That kind of gives me a starting point whenever I'm drawing. And I'll come out to here and out to here. So I'm going to start out here with my mama penguin. And it's, she's kind of like a egg shape, kind of, sort of. Not quite egg shaped, but. So she comes up and there's like a hump that comes just slightly out here. And then comes back in before it curves around like that and then comes down down and then her head there's kind of like a hump for the head and then the beak starts and comes in and then it comes back around that's kind of where her neck is may not be slanted quite so far down and then the wing Let's see if you Cut it in half, cut it in half, and then cut it in half again. The wing is going to kind of poke out right here. And then it comes out. back in and around and there's kind of like this black part that comes right here and then black starts again here and curves Curves in and up. And then it's a little more narrow than that. And there's like a little crease right here. The mouth. I don't know exactly what that is. It's like a little pink line in the beak there. And then she kind of comes in a little bit more here than I did. 
And I didn't come out that quite that far. I think I'm gonna um, I don't know. I was I was thinking if I needed to make it any longer than this. Might just make it slightly longer. I kind of I didn't really make him long enough last time, so that's why I'm thinking about that a little bit more. Okay, so her uh, the other side starts about where uh, the beak right here starts and comes in, and then the baby cuts it off. So the baby's a Slightly lower than half of the mom, so it starts about right there. And he's got a little head, so you could just draw like a circle for the head. And then, no, my dog is chasing my cat. She does that all the time. <laughs> and then he comes down, and there's like a little hump here where his leg starts and then kind of has he has a arm that's coming out and down about the fourth of his body there's his arm and then Don't be scared to draw him a little big because he's got lots of fur, so. Baby penguins are really, really furry. And then the other arm comes slightly higher than the other one. I need to scoot him over just slightly. Because the mama stops right here and you're not seeing any more of her on that side. So you can kind of see there. Kind of what we're trying to do. He's got the gray stops about right there. And then there's a black part on his head. And he's got his little beak and his eye. And then he's got some feet right here but okay and then mom's eye is kind of in here somewhere but you can, it's so dark we're just put, gonna put like a small indication of it okay so I'm gonna see if this is dry now it's still a little wet but I do need to do a little bit more down here with this fan brush. So I'm just going to do a little bit of black and blue and a lot of white. And I'm going to tap some of that in.
And I'm not going to go completely to the back of where we stopped with the uh, dark white snow. That, that didn't make sense. <laughs> where we stopped putting the white heavy. Um, I'm not going quite so far back. I'm staying a little lower than that. I'm going to put some of this in and then go back and put some white kind of over the top so it'll kind of look like there's some shadows in the white. Okay, so I think I'm going to blow dry it um, just to make sure my white that I put over the top of that doesn't kind of mix in with that dark that we just put. And then we'll draw it and paint in the penguins. Okay, so I blow dry it a little bit and now I'm going to add a little bit more white. So I'm just going to go kind of over and above the dark that I put. I, uh, I thought the, uh, it's so cute how this little baby penguin, he looks kind of like he's saying, I'm going to fly, look mama, I want to fly. <laughs> it's so cute how he's got his little arms spread out like that. And I think what I'm going to do is put the penguins either in the middle or kind of off center slightly because the mom is casting a shadow to the right so I might scoot them over just a little bit to kind of leave some room for that shadow to go. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to take my watercolor pencil. So I got yellow just because there's some yellow in the penguins, but you could do whatever color you wanted to. So I think I'll put them, um, stop her right there and kind of. Start it right there somewhere. So I'll start it kind of right here. And I'll kind of have that hump that goes out. And then we'll kind of slip that in a little bit. And then this part 
is where the neck starts to slope down a little bit. And then there's another angle down. And then the head starts and curves in. And the beak. And then the baby, or the other side of the mama comes right here. And then the baby kind of, let's see, she's coming down a little bit too far for me. Maybe do that again. Think of this word. <laughs> the um, wing. I was like stuck on that word. I was like, okay, what is that? <laughs> it's like froze. My brain just completely froze. Um, comes down. It's like right here. Comes back up. Comes around. And the baby is kind of slanted this way. So the face is like right here. And it kind of comes. little wings. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the drawing part. So I'm going to take my 3 8 inch angle and I'm going to start by taking white, putting it right along this wing area. And then I'm going to get some of the unbleached titanium and deep yellow to make like a yellowy color. And the whole belly is kind of this 
light yellow kind of color. And I'm going to have to go over with this yellow again because I can kind of see through to my background but that's okay because I'm going to kind of have to go back anyway when I put this shadow on the side and put some extra color over here. I'm just going to kind of fill this part in. And some light for that part back here. And I'm going to take some of this red color and put it right in here. There's like a red area these penguins I'm not gonna worry too much about that I'm just gonna put a little bit of it and then I think I'm going to wash that brush out and I'm gonna take my round brush and get into my black, Mars black, and put some on the wing. So I want, when you're using round brushes, you want it to be kind of fluid so that it will flow better. So I just added a little bit of water to the paint to help it flow. And then this is kind of where the black comes and meets the yellow. to kind of mix some blue with it right where the edge of that wing is so that it'll be a little different from this back side of the penguin because the back of the penguin and the wing are both black, but we want to make sure you can tell the difference. So, Okay, so I'm going to take some white and kind of put that in there and blend it out just a little bit because it, what it does is it fades from this like yellow to like white into gray into black. So it kind of does it kind of fast, but I'm just going to put a little indication of it 
right now and then we'll come back and work on it a little bit more once I have my other colors uh, my black on the rest of the head so it's going to come around and then we're going to put the tip of the beak first so that I can get that tip nice and sharp fill in the baby again so you can kind of see you can I can still see through the white so we're gonna have to go over again I'm gonna take my ultramarine blue or my uh, phthalo blue with the black and add some white to it but I want to keep it pretty dark so it's kind of in between the, um, I think it was the color we used back uh, for these little shadow areas, and then the uh, dark color for the wing, so it's an in-between color. I'm just going to fill the baby in. So I'm going to kind of add some black in there to blacken it up a little bit more. And then this area by the wing is lighter. And then he has his wing comes off right there. And it's lighter on the top of the wing than the bottom. Trying to see where this other arm is coming. And then I'm going to rinse my brush out. And Take my white and put it in this face area. And then take my black and put it along here.
It's okay, Sandy. I don't know why my dog was doing real good at not barking at anything when I first started putting videos. I only have a few on. I haven't been doing it long, but she seems to have been barking more often and growling and thinking she's hearing things. So I think I went a little too high with the uh, dark blue. So I'm just going to put some more white, lighter color along there. And it's okay if it gets kind of muddy. Well, I'll go back later. I think I'll make the head a little bigger. My white is all like gray now, but I'm going to Pull the head out a little further. So that I can get, oops, I can get a little bit more of the head. The head was a little bit small, but a little bit under that white. Okay, so we've got everything filled in now. So now we just have to go over everything one more time to make sure we're not seeing through anything. And also put the finishing details on there. So I'm taking my white again and going up against this wing. And there's like a little grayish shadow right along the side. And then it kind of it's like a shadow right here. It's okay, Sandy. So I'm gonna blend it out. The white. Okay, so now I'm going to take my white again. Put that out there. Then I'm going to take my yellow and bleached titanium and white, make that yellowy color again, put that in. I'm going to take this gray and come out just a little bit 
that kind of the baby slightly bigger because the mama is not mama getting cut off right there and you would see more of her. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, I'm going to switch brushes and go back to my number one, or my uh, round brush and just add some black just to kind of cover it up better. And darken it. I'm gonna add some water to get it to flow better. Go in that spot right there. In the face. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take some of my white. Take some white, put it right in there. Then I'm going to my black. Let's start mixing it in. Try to get that slowly changing from white to black. It doesn't have to be white, white. It can have a little bit of gray in it. But then the white turns to yellow. Yellow that we've been using. And then turns to like bright yellow. So use that. Then we use this red some yellow to make it like a deep orange kind of blend it in okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my yellow and I'm going to put like a line right there, kind of blend it a little bit. I'm going to put some more yellow right here. And then take some of this orange, some right here. So we're now we're doing the neck part, and I'm going to take some unbleached titanium and black for this shadow. So it's slightly darker than this, but I'm going to fill it in with this first, and then put it. The dark over it. I'm gonna get some water and get it to flow better. And 
and then I'm going to get some more black with it. Kind of that in. Okay, girl. It's all right. Shh, it's okay. No one's here. I'm sorry if that scared anyone. She scares me to death all of the time. I mean, it's like I'm sitting here painting or sitting in the living room or something and all of a sudden she does this like really loud barking noise and I'm just like, I jump sometimes. It scares me so bad. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little darker because it's just slightly darker than that. And I'm going to take the lighter gray and blend it out some and I'm going to make the light color and using blend it out right there make it not so hard an edge. Okay. And then I'll take some of this orange and put it in here. Some. And I'm going to take my yellow and kind of brighten this whole area up because it's kind of bright on the neck. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the mama. We're going to do... Um, a little indication of an eye and I'm also going to take some of my red color with some white my cadmium yellow medium and I'm going to put the I don't really don't know exactly what that is it's almost like where the mouth is starting there's like a red line comes right there and it's brighter than that but you need it to I need it to cover with white before it could do any more. Okay so I'm gonna kinda leave that alone just for a minute. I'm gonna take some phthalo blue and that right along that wing to kind of brighten it and I just really love blue on top of black like that. Just really cool. I put some right here. Maybe a little bit on the head, something just to kind of pull it on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna do some white on the baby's face to brighten it up. Let me see. Let 
Okay. And I'm going to take the black and darken that part up. And then his little beak comes out right there. That just one little thing right there just makes him so much cuter. He's not even finished yet and he looks so cute. <laughs> um, I'm going to do, actually, this black kind of comes down and then disappears with some other color that we're going to put in. So, what I'm going to do is take my Lunar Blender and take some black and white. I'm not going to put any other colors in it, just black and white. He's pretty gray. And what I'm going to do is put just kind of put some fuzz on him. And you can still see the dark, and that's okay. Just kind of fuzz them out a little bit. And then on that side, it's a lighter gray, so it's almost white. And then the wing has some white and it comes up. That and this gray is on the wing, the sides. But there's the light color on the top of the wing. I'm going to put some of this light just kind of on his front side. Not because it's white fur, but to kind of give him a highlight color. There you go. And then he has some darker gray kind of in here. against him right there. And I'm gonna make this wing come out a little further. Okay, so now I got a little bit over that, so I'm just going to kind of touch that up, but there's a shadow that the baby's casting has brown or the gray in it with the yellow. And it starts like right here where his head is and then comes down and then his wing comes out and 
his wing comes. And this is the yellow with the gray. Or the um, black. So it's not fully uh, gray. It's got some of the yellow in it. And what I'm going to do is take some of this or I'm going to take my brush out. Take the white and yellow and unbleached titanium and kind of blend it just slightly so that it doesn't look so hard of a line. It's a little softer. to take some of that and put it some dark and put it right here and this is not supposed to be where the wing is it's just kind of like a shadow and the mom know exactly what it's from I think her skin's just kind of folding in a little bit, and it's kind of making this shadow. But it's not going to be at all as hard as the other shadow. Just kind of brush some of that on this side where there's a shadow and then there's like a dark patch over here I don't know if that's like a shadow from the baby <clears throat> it's just a little darker or if it's like Supposed to be the foot of the mom. I'm not sure. And there's actually also some of this reddish color kind of peeking through right there. The mom has a little bit of reddish right up under there. Okay, and then there's, let's see, the, I'm going to add some of the ultramarine, or the um, yellow blue, that black, I'm just putting that in a little lower than it was. And then what I'm going to do is thin it out and actually I need to do something else first. Take some black and I guess it's the mom's tail or not tail. I don't know. I'm not sure. Do penguins have tails? I don't know. But there's like this area that's black. comes out and it's not hard at the end it kind of uh, fans out it's almost like the way you would do hair or something 
fan it out at the end. And then I'm going to take this washed out mixture that I made, wash it out more, or water it down more. I'm going to take it and make a shadow where the mom is. baby, what I do is put some black like that, and then we're going to take some of this white and make like a gray color, and on the side, put a little stripe on both sides, and that's going to be its little feet, and then I'm going to quickly take the Willow's Blender and kind of Tap over it just a little bit to make it look like the fur is kind of covering it. Okay, so now all we have to do is put their eyes, this little area on the mom, we need to brighten up our beak area, and put a little highlight on the baby's beak too. So we're going to do the eyes first. So I've just got a little bit of paint. And the baby's eyes right in here, in the middle. And I'm going to put a circle first. And then kind of squint the eye just a little bit. It's not a perfect circle. It's Kind of squint it a little. And what I'm going to do is take the white add for the face and kind of shape it out a little bit. More of the shape I want it to be. Okay, so there's the baby, and I'll take some of this gray, just put a dot in his eye. Let's see, I'm gonna do that again. It was too big. I'm gonna make a gray. A lighter gray. And just kind of dot dotted in his eye. Just a little bit. It's not showing up. You may have to wait until it's there we go. There we go. So we got a highlight in his eye. And then I'll take a lighter gray and We'll put a little highlight where the beak should be. And then I'm going to take this dark um, phthalo blue with the gray and add a little bit of white to it. And right in here, I'm going to put it like a little semicircle at the top. So it kind of indicates there's an eye. I don't know if you can see that, it's really small. 
but it just, it's, I didn't do a full circle, just kind of a line going up so that it looks like there's a circle there. So now I'm going to take the cadmium red and I'm going to put that in there. So you can see it now better. I'm going to take the black and just barely shape it out. Okay, so now I'm going to get my uh, pen to sign it real quick. This is the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen, and I'm going to make sure it's a fingers width away, so that if I ever frame it, then it won't cover up my name. And I like signing with the pens because. I have a hard time making my line thin enough when I'm signing. So there's our penguin. I still have to take off the uh, watercolor pencil marks, so that's why it looks like it's got a yellow glow around him right now, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, so I'm going to show this again, the schedule that I have out. If you're interested in any of these other tutorials, um, you can click on my picture. It should be popping up in the corner in a minute if it hasn't already. And then you can see these ones are yet to come out. So the rose and all these other ones will come out soon, but these two are already done. So you can look at those. And I hope that you had fun painting this one. This is, I just really, I just really love this one. He looks, he's a cute little guy. So I hope that y'all have, will have a good day. And I hope that you'll paint this and try it out. Bye guys.